You see me taking pictures, why are you in my frame? Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Cece, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I hope that you would stay, subscribe, and become a part of the Fashion Cece family. Here on my channel, I show you how to be your baddest bitch at an affordable cost. Today, we are starting a new series. It's something I'm so excited about. I created a reel for my Instagram, and I will pop it here. So basically this reel took you guys behind the scenes of how I create my content when shooting by myself. Social media has obviously been such a powerful growing tool, but as of lately, TikTok has really been skyrocketing a lot of people's careers, um, content, just making a lot of people go viral and it's gotten a lot of people into positions and places where they're able to snag brand deals and pretty much start working for themselves as full-time content creators. I've talked to you guys about this on my channel before and basically that is my ultimate end goal. Obviously outside of being a makeup artist, outside of having a hair company, outside of having a online boutique, I do want to make content creation my full time job. I am my happiest when I'm creating, whether it's for me, whether it's for others. I just love everything about creating content. I figure what better way than to take you guys along the journey with me and as you guys saw by the title of the video the very first subject that we're going to tackle is taking photos by yourself for your Instagram so when it comes down to taking pictures by myself there are two different ways that I like to do this so when it comes down to taking photos by myself I did take these particular photos with my camera that I'm currently filming on which is my Canon T7i with a 50 millimeter lens um, with a 1.8 aperture that does matter and I will get into that in the video where I talk all about my Canon camera I wanted to break this down into two separate uh, pieces because you don't have to go out and get a professional camera to get bomb photos let me repeat this you do not have to have a professional camera to get bomb photos so the first half of this video i'm going to tackle something that we all have you're probably watching this video right now from this particular device your cell phone so i broke it down into different categories as far as the equipment that i use to hold the phone how I'm taking the photos, the apps that I use to take my photos, and then obviously the lighting and then the necessities and tools that I bring along with me. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into taking photos by yourself with your cell phone. Personally, right now, the phone that I use to take my photos is my iPhone XS Max. So when I use my phone, I use my UV size tripod and it is 67 inches. You can adjust it. You can also use this stick as a like selfie stick. Y'all know we used to have those back in the day to be able to take our pictures and it retails for $24.99. This was a recommendation by Monique Smith XO. I believe that's her TikTok. Not quite sure, but shout out to you girl she put me onto this tripod and the second that i saw this video i was like you know what my excuse is always i never have nobody take my pictures and everybody take my pictures i don't have anywhere i can hold my phone other than my ring light and i'm not carrying my ring light around with me so this tripod was perfect not only do i use it to take my pictures i actually just got off of instagram live so i use it for like instagram live if i'm on facetime and i don't have time to like be holding my phone or prop it up somewhere i literally just whip out this tripod pop my phone in it and get to work I like this brand because not only does it come with the tripod it does actually come with a bluetooth remote that you can pair to your phone and you can use that to take your photos so if you are someone who does not like to um, use the self timer and you have accessories that you can you know use to camouflage your remote 
this tripod does come with a remote and again that retails for 24 so the next thing that i wanted to talk about for my phone is the remotes now i've already told you guys that the uv size does come with the remote i would use this particular remote and i talked about it in my uh youtube equipment video it is the camera kicks wireless bluetooth remote and it does work on samsung and iphone so there are two different options it does retail for seven dollars and 99 cents on amazon so super affordable everything in this haul is super affordable considering what you'll get out of it when you're producing your pictures and snagging these brand new i can use this on my ipad and on my iphone and you can pair multiple devices to it at once meaning like i don't have to unpair the remote from my phone if i want to use it on my ipad i can literally bluetooth it to both and then just obviously whatever one i want to use it on just connect my bluetooth to that particular device and the links to all products are going to be in the description the next item that i want to talk about well not this is not an item um it is a app this app is called lens buddy i found out about lens buddy on tiktok and i found out about it from talitha jane i hope i'm saying her name correctly is either talitha or T i believe it's talitha jane and she sh like she very vaguely mentioned it but her and like monique smith like i'm telling y'all right now like if y'all want to learn a lot about social media from like editing transition stuff like that this is a quick little sidebar monique smith is like that girl i'm going to link her instagram and also put like her tiktok and stuff in the description box as well so again make sure you guys are checking the description box i fill it out for a reason lens buddy is basically an app where you do not need a remote it is literally so timer you can adjust it to how many photos you wanted to take how many seconds in between those photos you want it to take and it even has commands that basically encourage you as you take your photos this particular picture i did use the lens buddy app for let's say you're not ready to make the investment in getting a um and getting a phone remote then you don't need one you can literally use lens buddy lens buddy will snap all of your photos for you the only thing that i will say that i dislike about it is it looks like the actual iphone camera but flipped upside down like you guys know that if you take pictures on your iphone all of the settings as far as like the image size the brightness like the features that you can use on the camera are at the bottom so you can see your full picture whereas with lens buddy it's kind of cut off at the top because that's where their settings are so again if that's not something that bothers you lens buddy is a great last item that i want to talk about i also found out because of you guessed it tiktok tiktok made me spend so much money on unnecessary shit it's crazy but this my friends was necessary this light is the sd light lsddi i don't know if that's how you pronounce it but basically this light comes with like a battery if you have a i think it's like an a acv or av adapter whatever it's called you can also plug it in if you don't want to use the battery but obviously if you're like gonna go take pictures and it's at nighttime and you need some type of light source on you you can definitely charge your battery and pack that with you i take this with me everywhere i go just like i take my uv size tripod with me everywhere i go because you never know when you don't need to get a fit off this light is so bomb it comes with so many different filters that you can change out personally my favorite is the orange i think that it definitely captures melanin and just a light that is just so just beautiful and radiant i took these photos with that light and i was using the orange filter everybody loved these photos i love these photos like the first set of pictures that i ever took using that light so if y'all looking for a small little portable led light definitely make sure that you check that out oh man so they don't have the exact one that i had but they do have one by newer damn that sucks because this light is definitely fire the one by newer it has one that has a yellow um what is it called a yellow film that you can put in front of it and it retails for $29.99 i was gonna try to tell you guys the price of the one that i had but 
find it. So, but yeah, that's the light that I use. Any type of like LED light that allows you to like change filters out, you should be good to go. So I guess I will wax that from what I use and then just push it provide you guys with a alternative down below in the description. So that is it for the equipment that I specifically use for my cell phone whenever I go out to take pictures. Now we're going to go ahead and jump into what I use when I'm taking pictures on my professional camera while I'm by myself. Alright guys, so as I told you all, I use a Canon T7i. It is the one that has the viewfinder. Personally, I do not like DSLR cameras where I cannot pull the viewfinder out and be able to look at myself. Although I have a monitor, I don't know what it is. It's just something about the comfort of being able to flip that screen out and still be able to look at it from my camera, even though I'm technically not looking at it. I'm looking in the lens, but I use that in a 50 millimeter lens. The Canon 50 millimeter lens that I got was $125 and I did get this from Best Buy. Um, they do have it on Amazon so if you guys aren't comfortable going into stores right now because of the pandemic you definitely can get it off of Amazon and it should be the same $125. As far as the equipment that I use to hold my camera I do use a standard tripod and it is the Sun Pack Ultra TN7000 tripod. I got this from Best Buy back when I got my vlogging camera and that was like 2016. Definitely make sure you get something that's sturdy um, because what I would hate for you guys to put your expensive camera on a tripod and the tripod is flimsy and the wind gets too aggressive and blows it and now you got a broke tripod and a broke camera that would not be good and honestly that's one of the reasons why I feel like I was always so nervous to take pictures with my professional camera outside of my home by myself because if I'm in the zone taking pictures especially if I'm taking pictures in hills and I can see the tripod getting ready to leave I don't know if I'll be able to dart for it fast enough to get to my camera before everything fell so I broke that anxiety the other day and the pictures came out amazing so that is the tripod that I use. As far as the remote, I use the Amazon Basics remote. Baby, it changed my life, okay? Pictures and like hide the remote because, and this is gonna be another series that I show you guys like the pairing and all that good stuff. But um, I was able to take my pictures because it does come with the self timer and kind of just fling the remote wherever so that way I can get into motion. We are about showing you how to be the remote at an affordable cost so get that Amazon camera uh, that Amazon wireless remote for your camera it's only nine dollars and 24 cents I have three of them because I thought I broke one what was I about to say this remote doesn't have like an on or off button it literally only works if you have the setting turned on on your camera I see as well on Amazon where now apparently it also works for Nikon as well so if you have a Nikon that you're shooting on you can get the same Amazon basics remote to be able to take your pictures so that way you don't have to again like stand close to have to press a button and you know you can't really get your looks off the way you want to because you're concerned about how to pose to be able to take the picture and then pop back in the next thing that we're going to talk about are the apps that I use for my cameras so for my Canon camera, I use what's called Canon Connect. Literally your camera is wireless so you can basically make your phone like its own internet pairing if that makes sense. Now that I have an iPad, I use my iPad because it's a bigger frame for me, for me to be able to see versus using my cell phone. And it basically shows you in real time like what the shot looks like. So this is like a game changer. Again, just to make sure I'm in focus, to make sure that, you know, that the composition of the photo is right. I absolutely love Canon Connect. You can also directly import your photos with this camera as well. So like, well, you can do that with the vlog camera that I have as well because that's what I just take my pictures on before I got a DSLR camera but you can use the app to like import your photos as well as like I said shoot your videos live so that's something that's super important. also if you are a Sony user like I told you guys I have a Sony a5100 as a vlog camera 
you can use image mobile and it also allows you to see like a live shot of the pictures that you're taking or the video that you're recording you can also transfer your pictures via wi-fi from your camera to your phone or your ipad as well so those are the two apps that i use using professional camera now as far as the lighting the lighting that i've been recently loving and using are my newer led panels i haven't talked about these lights in a video but i will make a video dedicated specifically to lighting these newer led lights um they do obviously your regular white um your cool warm lights you can dim them they get super bright and super hot but they also give that nice neon light effect. Like y'all know the lights that people um, put under their like TVs and stuff like the LED light strips. You can do that with these lights as well, except obviously it lights up the whole. I use that or I use obviously natural light if I'm out taking pictures by myself. The good thing about these newer lights as well is they also run off of batteries just like the SD newer the SD video LED light that I was talking about in the section with my actual like phone when I shoot with my phone. You put batteries in the light and the good thing about it is like these lights are so bright that you don't need to use both of them to take pictures. You can literally just use one and it's that powerful that it will literally light everything up. I obviously just use two while I'm filming for coloring. Now, the two things that I wanted to talk about that have changed the game for your girl when it comes down to taking pictures by myself, so whether I'm using a Canon camera or I'm using my cell phone, these products, mm, they're it for your girl. Let me talk about my change in tint, right? Y'all already know, like when it's time to go take your pictures and you're by yourself, like that awkwardness of like, you know changing your clothes in the car and hoping that nobody drives by and see you or hoping that you don't get arrested for public indecency that or having to spend money in like a store or you know a, or somewhere just so that way you can use their restroom to change your clothes sometimes people are nice and they like to change but baby i ain't even worry about that no more and i love this for not only myself when i take pictures by myself but when i also have you know photography clients and we're out i have a safe space for them to be able to change their clothes so i'm about a change it to just unravel this thing pop it up and let them change their clothes out and you good if you want to start taking your instagram serious or social media social media serious period in public get you a change in tent it's gonna change the game very last item is this portable fan literally just ordered this today i sweat so bad in my scalp and obviously my scalp is connected to my face so you can only imagine what that looks like when your girl is trying to take pictures and you james brown sweating down your face because it's so hot outside i got me a portable fan that i can charge with usb there are so many usb ports in my car so i'm so grateful for this because now i can just keep it literally right next to me when i'm shooting and just push it out the frame and the second i feel myself getting hot just you know let the fan do its thing so it can catch um the sweat before it can even cause any type of issues i think this is also something that's super great so whenever i have clients and it's hot outside versus having to run back to the car to cool down for a second literally i feel like as long as you have a fan you don't necessarily really care about your body being hot it's just more so about your face getting hot while you're taking pictures because you don't want your makeup to mess up so. all right you guys so that was it i hope that you all learned something or found some products that were super interesting that will make your life a lot easier because i know all of these products definitely make my life a lot easier if you guys have any questions about anything definitely believe it down below in the comment section if you guys have any particular questions about shooting content or you know things like that anything that pertains to this series definitely make sure you guys leave your comments down below in the comment section i will have another video out a part of the series which will probably be showing you guys how to pair the camera or how i use my apps so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate all the love and support that you guys have been showing me and i will see you all in my next video bye